Well, the number of children going to emergency departments with anxiety and depression is skyrocketing. The Virginia Hospital and Healthcare Association reports numbers across the state are surpassing pre-pandemic levels. And your side, Stephanie Hudson is here taking a closer look at this mental health crisis. Stephanie? Tom, the child mental health epidemic started before the pandemic, and it's been picking up steam ever since. More kids than ever are crying out for help, and there just aren't enough mental health care providers to answer those calls. Kids are in crisis, and we need look no further than the emergency department at CHKD to see it's not getting any better. The numbers, though, have been what has just been so staggering. This chart shows the number of ED visits requiring mental health consultation at the Norfolk Hospital have nearly tripled since 2018. Actual or approaching attempts of self-harm, of, of, of taking steps towards or having made attempts to end their life have have been the, the vast majority of cases. Suicide is now the second leading cause of death in children, ages 10 to 14 across the country. Many mental health providers blame social media. One study showed children and teens who spend more than three hours a day on these platforms increase their risk of developing anxiety and depression. Another survey showed more than half of teens are spending nearly five hours a day on social media. Parents are urged to limit screen time and create a safe space for kids at home. Being able to validate your child's emotions is the most powerful thing parents can do. Let them voice their concerns and reassure them that they're there for them, they love them. In 2022, CHKD opened this freestanding mental health hospital to help address the growing need. Dr. John Fanton says they're also approaching the goal of 60 inpatient beds and are expanding partial hospital capacity to include preteens as well as teens. It's been synergistic where we're really working hard to meet the need but still get overwhelmed at times. It's a scramble to find more providers, new methods of treatment, and the reasons behind the suffering of so many children. While there are long wait lists for mental health appointments for children, there are other resources available. The best place to start is with your child's pediatrician. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.